I'm now joined alongside ASU Volleyball's setter, Shannon Shields. Shannon, for the first time since 1995, you guys are in the Sweet 16. How incredible is it to really continue this postseason run? It feels amazing. Um, I said before, I think we deserve this. We worked really hard, and I'm really proud of us and where we're at right now. And take me through the emotions of winning match point at Smith Fieldhouse, just celebrating with your whole team. Uh, I, I mean, at the beginning of the game, everyone was really pumped. No one was nervous, which is like kind of an odd feeling, you know, like we all came in together and we were ready to rumble and winning that last point, it was like, we got this, you know, and and then it all settled in and we're like, wow, top 16, we made it. We made it to the Sweet 16, but yeah. It was that pinch me moment. And yeah. you guys not only beat BYU, you swept them in a very dominant fashion. So what do you think the biggest keys to your success was? Um, definitely confidence, like I said, just going in there fearless and always serving, always, our passing was like unbelievable. As a setter, I didn't have to move, so that's always nice. <laughs> and uh, every hitter was on, so it's like I can trust anyone on our offense. Um, it was just, everything was connecting. I feel like, but mostly serve and pass was our big thing always. It's huge. It's your identity and it definitely helped you guys in those first two rounds. And you're one of the only players on this team that has that NCAA experience back in 2019 with Louisville going to the Elite Eight. So before that first game against Georgia, did you tell your teammates anything, maybe a little bit of advice just in that win or go home environment? Just play for the team. You know, everyone, that first round, everyone's a little nervous. Georgia was nervous. You could tell. And it's, everyone's going to feel that, you know. So I told them, we just have to stick together, play our game, have fun, and we'll win. That's how it usually rolls. <laughs> and looking forward to the next round against Stanford, your competitor in the Pac-12. Now, you guys got swept, and then you swept them. So now this is the third matchup. So how excited are you guys for this final matchup that, of course, is the most important? Yep, the tiebreaker. Uh, we're really pumped up because they have a fast offense. Obviously, they have a great setter, great pins, middle, all around great players. So I'm excited to defend them because they're sort of like us with the how fast their offense is. So it's going to be a, another good matchup. I think uh, when they swept us the first time, we are serving a passes down. When we swept them the second time, they're serving passes down. And so it's just going to depend on, I feel like, serving pass. That's why we're working so adamantly on it right now in practice. But I'm pumped. And you were one of the ones on this team that was on the all Pac-12 honorable mention. So how much did that honor mean to you? It meant so much because, you know, it's my first time. And um, I'm glad that so many of our team, like so many players on our team got that award because I feel like we're all deserving of it. You know, we were fourth in the pack or third? Third. Yeah, so I was like, come on now, like, yeah, it was well deserved and I was really pumped up, yeah. It really is unbelievable that you guys all came together this year. And speaking of the ups and downs, you've been here through it all. So being able to be a 6'2 setter and now you're that floor general on the court. So how does it feel to have that trust from your teammates and the coaching staff as well? Uh, it means the world. I mean, JJ came in here and he lets me run the show. I mean, I love that too, and he's just like, yeah, do your thing. I mean, he doesn't tell me when we're in timeouts, usually you would expect, here's the game plan, you're going to run this and this and this. He's on to the next. We're going to defend this way. He's never talking to me mostly about offense in the game, but before obviously giving me some tips, but it means the world that he trusts me enough to run the show and win the game and find my splits and it's awesome. <laughs> and JJ said, coming into this season, you worked so hard this summer, getting faster, getting stronger, increasing your vertical. So how do you think that helped you really become the player you are today? Um, I think it definitely helped my block. Um, I feel just better, you know, like happier and um, healthier. So I, it's, yeah, I feel like being able to get stronger, jump higher was like, all good mental game too. It's like, man, I'm looking good. I'm getting up there and I can hit the ball higher and it's great. <laughs> My serving's good too now with it. <laughs> speaking of hitting the ball, of course, as a setter, your job is to dish the ball out to your hitters, but you are showing the entire country you're one of the best second ball kills ever. So do you have any keys to the success of absolutely smashing those balls down? I just go in there, I see it, it's like, oh, this is a really good spot. I'm going to go and like hit it as hard as I can. <laughs> but, I mean, I see that sometimes like, okay, they're not there. Or there's like little gaps in the block. But most of the time I'm just like, mm, good pass, I'm going to go hit it. <laughs> and this team is just such a sisterhood. You guys are one cohesive unit. So as a setter, how awesome is it that you can know, okay, I can go to the pin, the middle, the opposite, and you have people that are going to put balls away. 
Yeah, greatest feeling ever. It's like everyone wants it too. So that's like that's also like so important, you know. And they're calling it a lot. They're like, send me again. I'm like, okay, I have, I will. <laughs> but yeah, I like you said, we are sisters, and um, yeah, the trust is shown on the court. I can send anybody. <laughs> And being from Phoenix, you really have been able to put ASU back on the map. So how does it feel to really represent this state and show the world that, hey, ASU volleyball is a hot spot to be? A lot. Uh, I'm a coach at Storm and I played at Storm and I've seen lots of talent there. I mean, I mean, I, that's just one club. I feel like Arizona is a hot spot for a lot of young, great players. And it's sad because I'd, I'd been the only Arizona kid for what three years and then Mary came and so it was just I was kind of disappointed it's like man I want Arizona kids to know that they can stay here and it can be a good program so it does mean a lot to me because a lot of old coaches like Terry Spann for example she came here she's an alum and then she's running Storm's club and no one's coming to you know so it's it just means a lot that we're able to show the success and like the players that you can come here and it's a good program sort of thing. Four years here at ASU. Is there any special memories that stand out to you? I know it's a hard question, but over the four years. <laughs> um, I did I did say this before in my little senior thing, but I feel like the opening, you know, the opening match in Mullet was something I probably will always remember. Just the crowd that showed up and you know I it just was a different feeling everyone was excited it was like a new vibe um I also obviously swimming Stanford that was something I'm gonna remember I actually just wrote about that in my neurobiology class it's a long time memory and I still remember <laughs> details about it <laughs> um but yeah I think those are like my two phase of the season. well hopefully another sweep against Stanford is in your near future but overall what does it mean to be a Sun Devil being here, like you mentioned, Sun Devil Nation, they're going to miss you so much. So what does it mean for the past four years here? It's been a journey. I think it just means I, I'm just grateful for all the support. My family, you know, there's always that one person. I mean, obviously both my parents, but there's always like a friend or another coach that was always like, you got this, you can do this. And I, I it's nice having that belief. And then this season, coming in and working really hard with the team and having the success it it's the build-up <laughs> I'm really grateful for everyone that supported me and just being a Sun Devil and hopefully this journey is far from over because you guys still have a long way to go but is there one thing that you're going to miss the most about putting on the maroon and gold oh man that's really hard I I think I'm just going to miss this environment you know I laugh when I'm here this is volleyball is my safe space so and I've developed such a relationship with everyone, it's going to be like starting fresh. And I don't know, that's what I'm going to miss the most, just walking in here and knowing this is my place. But, yeah. Well, Shannon, thank you so much. And good luck on Thursday against the Stanford Cardinal. Thanks. <laughs>